Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another video. And this video is going to be dedicated to the developers. But of course, you know, at the end of the video, I want us to stand together and become one and understand that we all love the same game. And in my last video, I said that scum will never exist without the player base. And now that I've calmed down and we've been heard and we can start walking the greatest path ever together again. I just want to tell the developers, thank you. That's all I want to say to the developers. Thank you for everything. What I didn't say in that video is that without the developers, scum doesn't exist. We don't exist. It's like people, that, you know, it's, it's like all the hate that I get. If I wasn't here, then you would have nothing to hate. You know, if my community and my servers weren't there, you would have nothing to be hurt about or angry about. And it's the same with the developers. If it wasn't for them and their fantastic game and their fantastic vision and their blood, sweat, and tears over the last six years, yeah, it's almost six years. Um, we wouldn't, you know, there wouldn't be anything to be passionate about. There won't be anything to be angry about. Like, there wouldn't be, scum wouldn't exist. So developers, without you, we don't exist. And I, and I thank you for giving us something to be passionate about in our complicated You know, in our complicated world where we all suffer with different problems, every country has got its different problems. Everyone knows South Africa is going through problems. America is going through problems. The whole world is going through problems. And I just want to thank you from the bottom of my heart, and I'm sure from the bottom of everyone else's heart, to give us something that helps us to break away from our IRL problems. Let us get away from the politics and the problems in the world and the de de you know, devastation and heartache. Thank you. And yeah, guys, and from my side, I'm, I can't apologize for anything that I said because I meant every word, okay? So if I hurt my son's feelings or my partner's feelings or my friend's feelings, um. It doesn't mean I don't love them. It doesn't mean um, you know I want to. I don't want to have my son, or I don't want to have my partner, or I don't want to have my friend. It means that I care about them, and I want to help them. And that, that's that. That's the same with the video that I made. The only way to get me that passionate and that riled up, and say things that I maybe shouldn't have said, but again. I maybe shouldn't have said some things, especially regarding the AI, whoever's working on the AI, but I said what I said, I meant it, and thank you for giving me something to lose my poop over, uh, because there's a lot of worse things to lose your poop over. I don't know how you guys have ever had death threats, but um, in any case, what we are seeing on the screen now is what scum looked like at the beginning. I did cover scum at the beginning. I loved it. I could see its potential, but I was committed to something else. Would it have been better for me to stick to scum right from the beginning? Definitely. Without a shadow of a doubt. It would have been way better for me to stick to scum because I knew it had a ton of potential. I knew it had that kind of immersion. Like all of this footage is my footage that I just you know, cut together from a, from a few videos that I made at that time. And I wanted to keep playing Scum. I wanted to keep covering Scum, but I was committed to another survival game called Miscreated. And that game had like 10% or 5% of Scum's player base at the beginning, not when it exploded on day one, when it's like six months after it came out and the player base dipped down to like 3,000 players or 2,000 players, miscreated only at 300 players. So it would have been way better for me to jump onto Scum immediately. 
because I knew Scum had potential and Mistrated was going down according to the entire community except me. Um, but I, if I commit myself to something, you know, it will take a, it will take an atomic bomb to get me off it. So I basically just gave up on Mistrated when the developers gave up on it. And then luckily, when they just threw in the towel, um, Scum was at 0 0.5, and I jumped back into Scum without even thinking about it. It wasn't even a thought when Mistrated, um, when Mistrated's developers gave up. I just, I knew Scum was there. I, I played Scum. I didn't record Scum constantly, but I played Scum. But I supported Mistrated because, you know, I don't care about views. It would have been way better for me to to cover Scum because of the play, but you know, there's just ten times more plays. It's new. Um, you know, if I started my guides immediately and I just stuck to them, um, you know, I would have just gained more subscribers and I would have been at a better place than I am now. But it doesn't matter. What I'm trying to explain to you is that I don't care about views and everything else. I don't care who likes me, who does like me. I don't care about grown up feelings. I don't think we should have any of these feelings. Um, if you go look at the, um, you know, the video about the last video that I made about that things aren't funny anymore, all you can see in those comments is frustration and love. I read through all those comments. I think it's almost a thousand comments. I read every single comment and reply to every single comment. And if you go read every single comment in that video, you will see two things, frustration and love. Okay, it's not just frustration. It's not just hate. There's a lot of love behind it. And that's what you should focus on. That we are behind you. We want you to succeed. We want you to be successful. But although Scum didn't have a lot of content, I, you know, I, I enjoyed myself. I enjoyed myself with this game. I, I, I could see where it was going. And like everything has improved about Scum, which you guys, you know, you, the footage is here right here in front of you. You can see a lot of things have improved with Scum. Like Scum is better in 20,000 ways. Okay, not 20,000. Scum is better in 80% or 90% of what has changed. But if you look at the footage, and I rem when I was cutting, you know, when I was getting all this footage from my older videos, I remember the feeling that I got from, from the game. And what jumps out at me is immersion and attention to detail. Like, in the beginning, I had to, like, think about fat. You know, now you don't have to think about fat. You can just eat whatever you want. But at that time, I had to think about fat. Um, the puppets were dangerous. Like, the thin ones didn't do a lot of damage, but the, the fat ones looked big. They looked threatening. You didn't really want to interact with them. Um, I'm sure they hit like a truck, you know? The, there was a big difference between the puppets and how much damage they do. So there was various threat levels. They, um, you know, I can't remember if they glitched through everything, but they just, they were just more stable. Like, this footage is when my internet was way worse than it is now, you know? Like, way, way, way worse. And I, we didn't have a South African server, so I was playing on a European server. But the, the, my ping was way worse. But the puppets were way more stable. You know, everything just, just streamed immersion. Everything just pulled me into the game. Um, even if there wasn't a lot of content, um, if we look at the other 10% of the game that I feel has been lacking look at the pellets from the shotguns you know there was a time when we shot birds out of the out of the sky um there was a time where hunting like the animals weren't perfect but hunting felt very immersive and there was a time where we needed to dry our clothes in a fire but i don't i've never you know i've you know, i haven't dried my clothes at a fire in a long time um but i mean all these things should have a major effect on you like if you jump into water in the south area you should stay cooler for way longer but if you get wet in the north you should die you know you should you should die to freezing extremely fast 
It's those small attentions to detail. And all these puppets, like there weren't a lot of puppets, but they, we, I feared them. Like, look at, how, look at what these puppets look like. I know this was the previous graphics engine, the, the previous Unreal Engine, but look, just, just feel. Like, I don't want to get hit by this puppet. This, these puppets feel dangerous. They look dangerous, you know? They just, they just scream, you know, we'll kill you if we slap you. And I know the engine has changed, but the, it's that small attention to detail that I feel has, has been lacking for a while. And my favorite part in Scum, it was between 0 0.5 and 0 0.7. Um, and the, I remember when I dropped down, I can't remember if it was 0 0.6 or 0 0.7. Well, they try like I think the traders were there, but we didn't spawn with money. We still spawned with fame. And I remember dropping down, cutting up a tree and a bush, and crafting my starting gear, and just just having fifty fame, which is enough for a sector spawn. And I felt so rewarded. I remember like I felt like a new player is gonna love this, you know. Like I can, if my friend joined the server, we can just do this basic thing and then spawn, both spawn in the same sector and meet up with each other. Yes, there was other, you know, there was other things, you know, that was not great. But I mean, that feeling that I got, all I asked, all I told myself is a new player is going to, is, this is fantastic for new players. I'm getting fame. I'm getting rewarded. Um, and you know, I'm getting skill points and it just feels so rewarding and everything just, Everything just felt great. The swimming felt better. Like the, the animation of the character, the fact that I felt I was in water, the fact that I felt my clothing was wet. It's just the attention, like, um, you know, like these puppets. It doesn't matter if they could glitch through something. That it, like at the moment, if you look at a puppet, he like glitches. You know, like if you get a puppet's attention, he like glitches to the side. You can't just aim your bow at him and shoot him in the head because as soon as he detects you, a lot of time he glitches to one side and you'll miss him. So the puppets are just very glitchy at the moment. I can't remember that them walking through stuff was a big problem. But I've in the beginning I never worried about the puppets. You know, like these puppets are these puppets are a problem for me at the moment. But I, they just they were great. They added to my experience. I loved it. There was no question marks regarding the puppets right at the start of the game. So in a lot of ways, I just feel we've gone backwards um, in attention to detail, immersion, um, the feeling that the game gives you. And I feel we're focusing too much on new things and not putting enough time into everything that we put into the game. Not me, of course, game players. I don't, uh, and I don't know if it's because of Jagex. Okay, I'm not sure, but I just feel at the beginning where, where it was just the core game players team, I feel everything they did there was a lot of love that, that was put into it. They communicated with the player base and with the content creators regularly. You know, they made the items for the content creators. They, there was just a lot of love and detail and passion behind the game. We, I felt it. I felt that passion. I felt that love. And since 0 0.8, I don't feel like since, the, you know, since 0 0.8 came out, you know, the cars were broken and all the server owners struggled right through the holidays, you know, because the developers could only really fix it at the beginning of the next year. You know, like th that, was a that was a terrible time. And with the puppets, you know, the server owners had a terrible time. Uh, you know, like there, there hasn't been this kind of the division between the players and the developers since the Jagex transition. So what I'm trying to tell you is, uh, yes, I am, I am, you know, I am here for my for the community, but I want to help game players as well. Send that video with a thousand comments, with a frustration love. Send that to game players and let them know that you need to get that passion back. You need to spend a lot of time on everything that you bring to the game. The game maybe needs another year or two years before it goes into full release because rushing something is not how they the how game players will make a ton of money or how the publishers will make a ton of money getting back that 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 feeling that made everyone fall in love with scum that's what will make everyone billionaires that's what will make scum great again and i'm just going to show you that um 
you know, the reason that I make these videos is because I love survival and scum. So let's talk about my previous game. Yes, <clears throat> ladies and gentlemen, um, developers, this is the game that I was committed to while Scum was being developed. Scum was always in the back of my mind. I was always playing Scum, even after that video where I was showcasing Scum. It's like, you know, being in a relationship that you're committed to. Um, and you know, you, you know, if you if you love your wife, you're not going to leave her. It doesn't matter if there's other options out there. You're not going to leave her. And it's the same with Miscreated. This is what the game looks like at the moment. This is Miscreated's peak players. So I covered Scum in 2018 around year. Okay. Um, yeah, I covered Scum about year August when it came out. And miscreated at 400 players, 300 players, 500 players, okay? 2019, we hit 1,000 players once. 2020, 400 players. This is what was happening to Scum in September 2018. So what I'm trying to explain to you is that this is a better game to cover if you're focusing on views, if you're focusing on exposure. It's a brand new game. Um, okay, so it's, it would have just been better for me, uh, more views, more profitable, just better overall. But what I'm trying to tell you is I've like, I covered the game in the beginning, but then I had to go back to what I'm committed to, not because of views, because I love survival and I committed myself to miscreated. So even though I knew Scum was going to blow up and I knew Scum had huge potential, you know, I just did the right thing. But of course, you can see it's better to be here. Like Miscreated only had a thousand players once, you know? So if I, if I went and looked at the Steam charts, it's way better to just drop Miscreated and go and, and come to Scum and cover Scum from the beginning. But I was committed. And I never, I never thought Miscreated would, would fail. Like, I never thought the developers would give up on Miscreated. Everyone was, like, in, you know, warning me, and I'm just like, you know, this game has huge potential. Don't worry about it. And then it happened. And that's all. I'm just never making that, you know, I'm never thinking that just because I love something, it's impossible, you know, that something can happen. But as you can see, it would have been much better for me to be in the game. And then, uh, you know, just pure coincidence when Miscreated, like, completely just gave up, when the developers just completely gave up, and we all knew that for sure. Then Scum, um, then Scum 0 0.5 came out. And from 2021, I've never looked back, okay? But it wasn't good for me to come in at this time as a content creator. It wasn't good for me to come in at this time because now you've already got your set creators. You've, you know, the, uh, every, uh, there's a lot of people that have covered Scum for a long time. So me coming into the scene at this time is not, you know, it's not the best. You guys might think so, but competition plays a big role when you, when you, when you, when you, when you start a channel. Um, so, yeah, it would have been much better for me to come in here. You know, everything was new and stick to it, and it would have been way better than to play Miscreated or to stick to Miscreated, but I was committed to it. So all I'm trying to tell you, the uh, developers, is I'm, I don't care about views. I don't care about all the things, you know, that grown-ups apparently care about these days. I don't care about popularity. I don't care who likes me. I don't care who doesn't like me. I care about the survival genre, genre, okay? I care about survival games. I care about the feeling it gives me. And I want to share that feeling with as many people as possible. And right at the moment, you are it, okay? Scum is it. So I played Chris Created right up to the very end. So even if Scum just has 300 players, I'm still going to support you. 
I hope it's impossible, but like I said, you know, in my straight, I also thought it was impossible. So I just wanted to explain to you, I'm not trying to hurt you. I'm not trying, you know, I've got nothing personal against you. I, I love you guys. I thought, you know, I've always had a, a, a ton of respect for Tommy, always had a ton of respect for Lever, you know. I like Kick. Um, you know, without you guys, there, there is nothing for me to be passionate about. Truly there. So I just want to thank you guys, you know, from the bottom of our hearts. Thank you for giving us something to be passionate about. Thank you for giving us something to fight for. And just understand in today's world, we cannot think everything is moonshine and roses. You know, if, if everything still belonged to you guys, you know, we would still believe that all of the development team can profit from this, you know, and can, you know, get shares and whatever the case would be. Like, we, should, we would still believe that the entire team was passionate about this. But since JX, the publishers, we know that financially doesn't work like that. You know, we know that you're being put under more pressure. Um, you know, we know you're being driven for targets. But use us to communicate with Jagex and tell them, look here, we need to stand still and we need to look back. Okay, because the player base feels like we've lost the heart of Scum. You know, or the player base feels like Scum has got some heart problems, some immersion problems. And we can't just focus on server performance because the main love that people have for Scum is the immersion, is everything that we put into the game, the metabolism, the original ideas we had for Scum, but basically immersion. Immersion means you break away from real life, you break away from your problems, and you, you, you know, the game captivates you. Like, when, I, when I'm enjoying Scum, people can talk to me, I don't even hear them. It's like I've got an IMAX screen in front of me, and I can't, I can't see or hear anything else. I'm, I am that guy, the guy in the game, I am that person. And that's why I like immersing myself and. You know, acting like Yogi Bear is dangerous or acting like the wolves are dangerous. But that's, you know, that, that's what we're going to talk about. So I invite you guys to make a podcast, maybe 20 minutes long. 20 minutes isn't too much from ev anyone's life. I invite you guys to, um, you know, make a 20-minute blog or podcast or video. Just let one of the developers communicate with us. I'm sure there's one developer that you guys can say, you know, what you need to say to the community and say it to him. Instead of getting hate from a bunch of people and getting death threats and everything, communicate with the top content creators and let the top, con you know, let the community, you know, get a developer that makes a video. So the people that you have to communicate with become less, but the, your player base still feels heard. Your player base still feels valued. Your player base still feels you want to communicate with them like you wanted to in the past. They don't want to think Jagex is the reason that everything changed. Even if Jagex is the reason that everything changed, we will be your voice, as as uh, the same as we are our voice. Yeah? The, the same I'm fighting for the community, I'm fighting for you guys as well. You know, take my video to, to um, Jagex. Let them see the support behind the video. And understand, love equals money. Let them understand, love equals money. There's such a negative stigma about publishers these days. But what they don't understand is love equals money. The reason Blizzard made so much money is because they created something that people loved. That's not the same anymore. So all these large companies and investors think they're making more money. They aren't. When you've got a happy player base, you will never think about money ever again. And that's it from me, guys. Let's work together. Okay? Everyone watching this video, click the like button if you support this idea. And in next week's, um, in next week's blog, I will give you guys 10 or 15 ideas, suggestions 
that I feel will improve the game a ton, will help with a lot of player frustration, which I don't think will take you guys a lot of time. But I'm going to communicate with you on a weekly basis. What you do is up to you. All I know is that I, wouldn't, I won't have something to be passionate about if it wasn't for you. Like I said, without the players, scum doesn't exist. But above that sentence or thought is without game players, your player base that is frustrated because they love the game don't, will never exist either. So you guys come first. But we need to work together. We need to become one. So like the video if you liked it, guys, and um, subscribe if you want to help me make scum what we know it can be. And if any developer watched this, I thank you for your time. And I'll see you next week. Cheers.